Yo, what's up? What's up, everybody? Yo, we are going live right now on Facebook, specifically Facebook. That's where we're streaming right now. I am super excited because, as you all know, I have been talking about rolling out, launching this Clarity Challenge, which starts next week. Go to myclaritychallenge.com. And the whole purpose and the whole intent of this Clarity Challenge is to bring vision clarity to individuals, helping you discover who you are, where you're going, what the next steps are in your life. And today I'm super excited because I got my boys in the house, uh, Joseph Nimwange. I'm going to go ahead and, and bring him on up to the forefront so that we can get this conversation started. Uh, let me figure out how I do that. There he is. Yo, what's up, brother? What's up, my bro? What's going yeah, you on? You good? You good? You yeah, good? Yeah, man. I'm blessed. Yo, I'm man. Blessed, man. I'm blessed. How are you? Yo, man, I'm, 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 I'm blessed, man. I'm blessed. I'm purposeful. I'm powerful. I'm prosperous. Yo, man, I'm stepping into all of it right now, bro. I'm really, I'm really stepping into all of it, man. Everything that God has for me, I'm, I'm claiming it as my own. And I'm super excited that you're just going to jump on, man, and just talk with us a little bit. We're not going to be super long, but I just wanted to bring some real life testimonials to my people out there because you and I have worked together in the past. You've sure. gone through one of my programs as far as helping you and your wife just to discover, you know, personal professional clarity. And so, man, I just wanted to get your get, get your testimony. Talk to us a little bit. First, for those who don't know you, who are you? Why are you here? What's, what's your what's your passion? I don't know if you remember your two words, but what are your two words? <laughs> right. <laughs> like 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 what's going on? What's going on? Talk to us. Well, First off, man, let me just affirm. Uh, Seth, the work that you're doing, man, I, I, I follow you. I see what you're doing. And, and I think you come with the right energy. And it's something that I think is so, so needed, man. So needed in today's world. Um, but let me just, you know, to answer your question, introduce myself, uh, Joan Yumwange. I am the uh, father of three, um, also husband to my wonderful wife, Sasha Nimwange. Um, mm -hmm. From a professional perspective, I am the founder of my personal foundation, Yamwange Foundation, mm -hmm. and also the founder of the new company called Yamwange Investments, um, which I'm pumped to talk about, but it's an organization designed to help people of color um, win with money like they've never won before and to close the, the wealth gap uh, in our economy, man. So, you know, we've been having a lot of fun. Uh, and, and we've been really, really excited about the, the work that God has been allowing us to do. Yo, man. So Nimwange Investments, I haven't heard of that one. Is that, is that, is that a recent, a recent thing that you started or have you been doing that for a while? Cause last thing, last thing I heard no. it was, is Financial Legacy Academy or is that a part of it? Like, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. like, so, like so, roll it out. So, yeah, yeah. So Nimwange Investments is the umbrella. So we started okay. Nimwange Investments, like this, this was going to be the engine that mm. we kind of actually drive. And so the first thing we did was created a, um, uh, an enablement tool or course that actually helps and guides people through FLA. So think FLA as one of the products from Nimwange Investments. Okay. But because it's so broad, there's so many other things that are coming. It gives kind of room for us to really um, take this thing to a next level. Yeah, yeah. I love that, man. So I've gone through FLA, right? I know what it is. Yeah. Um, to people who don't know what it is, just just give it to us real quick, like the down and dirty. What is FLA? Yeah, so I mean, look, I, I literally took my life story from a financial perspective and I put it in a way that I thought um, was easy to digest for our people. And so, mm -hmm. um, look, I, I think there's a lot of content out there, right? Folks, stuff on real estate, stuff on stocks, there's stuff on insurance, there's stuff on... Um, you know, literally there's, there's a whole bunch of different content. I think one of the challenges in our community is we never had something that was whole picture financially and that took into account uh, the systemic challenges that people of color face. And so what I did was I looked at my journey where I was seven years ago. I was $100,000 in debt. I had a negative net worth. Um, and I was literally working, right, so that I can live. Like, like that's what mm -hmm. it was. And I wasn't mm -hmm. really happy in my job, but I didn't have choices. And so I, I made a commitment to God. I said, God, if you can deliver me from this, um, I promise you I'll do whatever I can to help deliver others. And so uh, that was the culmination. So we put together a, a course, like a nine-course um, program that's designed to really help people of color, like, examine the whole picture financially 
um, and, and get what we call the four pillars of financial legacy and get the pillars right so that you can leave a legacy that you could be proud of. Mm -hmm. So I love that, man, because I mean, we know that there are other financial people out there, right, who are providing sure. educational resources and, you know, some are more popular than others. But I love that your platform, your your purpose, your mission is specifically targeted to the black community, right, the black and brown community where you are really trying to help. You know, folk who look like me, folk who look like you, right? And our kids, you're trying to help us win at money, win at life, because so much of, I think, what we've been taught from a financial literacy perspective really set us up for failure, right? It set, right. set us up for consumerism. It set us up to be just, you know, having to work all of every single day of our life and then to hope that we have enough money in retirement to retire with some shred of dignity. And you're like, listen, miss me with that. Like, it's time to go and just like really deliver our people from financial literacy bondage. You know, the miseducation of black folk when it comes to finances. Yo, how did you even get to that point? Because I know we work together, right? How did you yeah. arrive at the at the point where you're like, this is my personal life mission. Like, this is my legacy. Yeah, and it's so funny, man. Um... Yo, God is really, very, he's so intentional. Like our, like some things we just kind of take for granted or you just, sometimes we're just moving in life. But man, ain't it good to know how, how God, can, even as you're passively moving, that God is orchestrating, like, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And so um, this burden of mine has been something I've had for a while. Like, I, like mm. I literally had it and I started learning my love and passion for it as well. Like, yo, these things come easy to me. I like consuming information uh, that improves financial literacy. I like this wealth, wealth building concept. And not only do I like it, I've applied it and it's worked for me, right? So it's mm -hmm. kind of helped us get there. And so, you know, fast forward, man, you know, I, I want to say um, two things that happened. One is when we, we started doing scholarships for our kids in our foundation, right? Um, one of the requirements is giving um, uh, in, in the application process, you have to kind of stay your, your income. And Seth, I tell you, about 80% of the kids had a household, household income under $20,000 a year. And I'm Sheesh. like, yo, I can give doing somebody, that, that's what I'm saying. And here I am saying, oh, I'm going to give you a scholarship to pay college. They can't even eat food. And so, mm. so that kind of like started the like, all right, Joseph, your, your people are hurting. Like you're, you're helping mm -hmm. them, but they need more. It's it's systemic. It's it's not just them. It's mom. It's dad. Like all of, like we got to change that. And so that was bubbling in my spirit. I think... Um, kind of leading into that, and I want to say it was, it was about a year ago, year and a half ago, um, I wasn't sure whether this is something I was like interested in or is this just a hobby? Um, could it pass the test of, of pain? As you know, you teach. And yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, all right, uh, I need to kind of get a little bit more. I need to be intentional about this. And I started praying, man. And uh, I remember Myra connected me with you on an, on another thing for our, for you know clarity within church, and then I started seeing your program about helping individuals, and I was like, yo, I need clarity on this. Mm -hmm. uh, so I signed up for your program, and mm -hmm. let me tell you something. Though. When I after going through uh, that intense program, it literally flushed out all the things that I thought might have been. No, no, no. I, it, it made it crystal clear. Like, mm. Joe, this is exactly exactly mm -hmm. what you need to be doing and mm -hmm. and literally that turned on that turned on the motor now because now it's not like uh another you know project another kind of like oh see if it goes this is not an experiment no more right no, this is calling right yeah. and i think i think that to me and so going through that program uh and then i think that the next part after that was assembling the team of people who are really going to help me launch this thing. Mm -hmm. But everything rooted, man, I credit a lot of it back to you, Seth. Everything rooted back in getting clarity. Like, mm -hmm. like that's what it all came down to. Like, mm -hmm. before that, it was just, you know, it's kind of like you hear people kind of talk about, like, oh, yeah, man, this is, I want to do this, or, or I want to do that, and, and they never do nothing. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? I think that, that, that got washed away, and God said, Joe, it's time. It's time. Yeah, yeah. What 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 have you gained? I mean, and I think when we were working together during the pandemic. Was it 2020 Correct. when we started? Right. So uh, it's. Yep. Yep. Or was it beginning so of 21? 2021? I think. 21. Yeah. Yeah. So so yeah. maybe a year. So maybe it's been 12 months now, you know, uh, 11, 12 months since you and I started working together. Like, what have you gained as a result of 
you now being able to crystallize like your thoughts and to say, ah, like this is it. Like I see it. Like what have you gained as a result yeah. of that? Well, I mean, first of all, there was a lot that I, that a lot was gained. I think mm -hmm. number one, there's a, just a mental piece or at least a, a different engine you can kind of, like you could literally go to gear three, gear four, gear five mm -hmm. when you have clarity, right? And so that extra energy and motor came. Uh, right after that course, man, we went to the lab. Like literally, I took, you know, four months. Uh, we went straight to the studios. We went, I was like, we got, I know exactly the content. God, the cool thing is that, when, again, this is with clarity. God has already been giving me answers for years. Like he's literally been giving me, like I had everything. It was just a matter of, organizing it and kind of almost getting that green light. And so um, as a result, we, we launched a business, we, we launched a curriculum, and we literally had over 100 families go through our FLA program. And I think there was one thing that I heard one of our um, students was like, um, I explained one of our testimonies about like, look, I've been praying, I've been praying to help people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is something that's been on my heart ever since even our, our Vision Clarity um, program. And the lady was like, Joseph, man, we feel so more confident about our finances, and I am happy to let you know that we are a product of your prayer. Like, at that moment, I was like, all right, God, you know what I'm saying? It was all worth it. Even, this, even if this thing flopped and nobody listened, uh, it was all worth it, man. So that, that's kind of what I gained, man. It's uh, you be able to establish a new business, create a new business, and literally help hundreds of fam a hundred, over 100 families um, now build a financial legacy that they could be proud of. Can't hear you. Yeah, there it is. All right. So All that's right. that's awesome, bro. Because something that you said that I actually want to highlight, you said like it was always in you. You know what I'm saying? So like it, it wasn't as if you were looking to me or even looking elsewhere for someone or for me to tell you what to do. It was like yeah. you had already sensed like the stirring and the movement of God. You had already like you see kind of the bread the breadcrumbs. But you weren't necessarily like at the loaf. Like you didn't, you hadn't arrived at that point where it was like, right. ah, okay, this is it. And so, you know, when we worked together, I remember you and your wife, because you all both went through my program, it was really about me just kind of asking some critical questions and leading you all through a framework. You guys are the content experts of your life. Like you know your right. gifts, you know your abilities, but you might not necessarily know how everything ties together in order to bring about, you know, Nimwange Investments, Financial Legacy Academy. Like you weren't quite have all of the big picture, but then through working together, that's when it's like, oh, the bulb, the bulb goes off. You see how all the dots connect. Um, and now you can like, now you, you're after it. What's crazy is where would you be right now if you did not have that clarity? <laughs> Man, uh... Dude, I don't know, man. Like, yo, literally, my life's changed. Uh, mm. I'd probably just be at my, you know, my 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 job. Um, I'll probably be more just, you know, foundation is kind of almost now run itself, so it doesn't require too much of my mm -hmm. attention. Um, but you know, just you know, here's exactly where I'd be. Uh, I'd probably be still in, and I, I would probably still be in the, inst the church institution trying to figure out and try to negotiate with ministries departments on how to launch something of some sort, right? Mm. Um, and this is no knock to institutions, but it, it was, uh, it. I, I just know that I wouldn't be operating in the gear that I'm operating mm -hmm. in. Like mm -hmm. if you follow me, I am I am out there more. Yeah, I'm heck yeah. speaking more. Heck yeah. Um, uh, yo, the, alg the, alg the algorithm is in your favor, brother. Like every time I ch open my <laughs> open Instagram or open something, bro, I'm seeing, I'm seeing your face <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> Yeah, man, but that doesn't happen. That doesn't happen without the clarity for me. Mm -hmm. like before I was occasional poster. Uh, you don't. You, you, I don't talk controversial. Every now and then I'll say something for my people. Maybe around Black History Month, but I wasn't as consistent and I wasn't as intentional. I mean, now, now it's. Dude, let me let me tell you. Let me tell you this, Seth. When when you have your clarity, mm -hmm. this is this is this is this. Come is, on now. This is gonna this is gonna resonate. When you have clarity, the metrics of success change. Like, mm. think about it. Noah preached for 120 years. Mm -hmm. He preached for 120 years. And even though no one showed up, the brother kept preaching and building. Why? Because he had a clear vision from what God <laughs> asked him to do. And so when, when you get clarity, it's no, it's no longer about, am I an influencer? 
Uh, am I doing this? Who's liking my stuff, man? You you mm. literally get to operate in a different gear that you can keep going and going mm. and going because you're fueled by something that's not natural, man. It's supernatural, man. So mm. so like th that that's my thing, bro. Like literally, vision clarity. It it it. It, when you when you clear what God has asked you, it literally changes the dynamics. And now it changes the dynamics of my family. It changes the dynamics of people around me. People know me for this now. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just a Facts. Blessing, bro. It's a blessing. Facts. Facts. I mean, you become and are you are becoming the the go to black entrepreneurial finance guru. Like if you want to know investments, if you want to know real estate, like if you want to know like Joe Joseph is becoming that household name, which is, I think, what God designed for all of us. Like, I think Correct. everyone out there watching right now, you might look at Joseph and you'd be like, oh, well, OK, again, you know, he that's his thing. But the same way he has his thing and I have my thing, God has a thing for you, too. You yes. know what I'm saying? Like yes. there is a thing for every single person. And I've said this before, and this is going to be my, my, my soapbox, my hobby horse that I'm going to say over and over again. Like, I don't believe God designed for us mm -hmm. to work for people, to work for institutions. I believe God designed us to be owners. God designed us to be, to have dominion, right? God designed yes. for us to be in charge, to be rulers. And yeah, yes. I can partner with organizations and I can partner with people, but I feel very strongly in my spirit that all of us have all of us are creatives and god wants to to to, to it's almost as if when we don't fully step into our our the mission the vision that god has for our life we are failing to yeah. live up to his dream for us right yeah. to like he's like it's almost like if you have a kid right and then you like you know your kid has potential but they just wasting their potential because they don't believe in themselves and just how frustrating that is and so I can only imagine that God's like, yo, my people, my people, my people, if you only understood the power that is available to you, the purpose that's available mm -hmm. to you, it would be game, it would be game changer for, for our community, for our personal finances, for our own legacy that we want to leave yeah. our children's children, man, it would be game changer, you know? Bro, I, and I think that that's why the synergies, I think, between us is so, are so high because for, I'm not here just to make people rich. Like, that's mm -hmm. not my intention. My goal is to create uh, a generation of black millionaires operating on purpose. Like, like, like you knowing what God has called you to do. Like, you'll think mm -hmm. about it. It's, it goes back to an ownership mindset. To your point, like a lot of us may not, uh, we may not even see ourselves as ha like ha doing our own thing. Like we got that feeling in us, right? Like, but, but we don't operate because of the way we're conditioned. And, and one thing we always, we teach our people is, hey, you got to shift from a consumer to an owner. And it's the same thing you said, man, like, look, Getting clarity in what God has called you to do, I promise you, your gifts will make room for you. Like it'll, yeah. it'll make room for you. You know what I'm saying? And so, I love it, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm putting everything. You know, you, everything you're saying, I'm, 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 I'm eating it all up. Bro, what's what's next for you? What's the next step? Like, you got this clarity. You started to lay a foundation with your business. You know, I know you're still you're still working that corporate job. What's sure. what's the next step for you? Yeah, man. So look, I, look, we're we're in growth mode. Um, mm. Think about it. My goal is to help every black person in America. That's forty-eight million, or you know, forty-seven million. Uh, that's a that's a lifetime goal. Here's the cool mm. thing about uh, about clar vision clarity is it's it's no longer like a a two year stint. It's mm. not like a model. At least not for me. This is my life's work. Like like this is this is what I'll be doing for the rest of my life. Um, whether I'm operating an entity as CEO of Nimwange Investments or even on the side, I'm going to be literally here trying to build people up. And so I think what's next for me is we want to be able to get more families in the fold. Like we want to educate and teach more people, man. I don't know if you saw the data. Uh, right now, as a people, we're not doing well financially. Um, yeah, I saw that. We created $1.6 trillion in spending power last year. Our net worth decreased 14%. They're saying by 2053, our network is going to go down to zero, right? And so mm. we will be slaves. And this goes contrary to everything our forefathers fought for, right? They, mm -hmm. like, they, didn't, they didn't fight for us to get back into the corporate plantation or, or, or whatever plantation we're in. And so, look, we got work to do, but I think that that's going to be next for me, man. It's, it's, it's going to be educating more people, partnering with people like yourself, 
to make sure that people are getting access to what God has called them to do um, and just kind of getting on this battlefield, man, and, 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 and trying to you know, take this thing to another level. I mean, I am thoroughly inspired by your life and I'm thoroughly inspired by people who are living up to and pursuing a big, a big dream. Right. For, for you to say, yo, I want to touch I, I want to touch every black person in America. Right. All 48 million of us. That's that's number 48 million of us. Yeah, like to me, yeah. to me, I'm saying, OK, how, how can we do that? Like, let's let's make that happen. Right. And and I think that that level of dream, I mean, you use Noah perfectly. The fact that he had a dream from God, a vision from God. And even though. The people around him maybe didn't affirm it. You know, he didn't find support amongst the village, amongst the community. This joker still went forward because he knew this was his great mission on earth. And literally, I mean, let's just be honest with this joint. Like, you and I are here because Noah did what he was supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like the like the flood was the flood was coming. The flood was coming. And Noah's like, I don't care if y'all want to get on board or not. This is my this is my legacy. This is my great contribution to society. And there's going to be a world that comes after me that will pay homage to me because I was faithful to the call. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which, if you think about it, what, only eight people got on the boat at the time. And so Joe, so Noah could have looked at what he did as a failure, failure. right? Yeah. You know, but to think that mil billions of people are still here or now here because of his one act of obedience to me it's like listen you are a noah right if you're watching you are a noah and god has a big dream a big vision for your life that he wants you to step up and step into and i want you to be obedient to the call and the first thing you need to do to be obedient to the call is you got to discern what the call is you got to be you got to be clear. You got to be clear to say, oh, OK, this is this is what God is calling me to do. This is my great contribution to society. This is the legacy that I am destined to leave, not just a nice 401k or an mm -hmm. insurance fund that I leave my, my family a couple hundred thousand, couple million dollars. I mean, that's great. But beyond that, what is the legacy that you are leaving them that they can live into, step into and live out? That's what it's about, right? And so so to all my people, we're wrapping up, but that's what this Clarity Challenge is fundamentally all about. It's about helping you discern the call on your life and the legacy that you were destined to lead, to leave when you leave this planet, right? That's what it's all about. So if you haven't signed up, we got some spots left. MyClarityChallenge.com. I want you to jump in. Um, I mean, for your own... For your own peace of mind, for your own purpose, for your own potential, jump in and get clear. Jump in and get Yo, clear. Let me, let me, and let me just say, let me just double click on what you said. Uh, and I want to talk to everybody who's watching. Hear me, hear me clearly. Uh, this will be one of those big misses in life if you don't take advantage of this. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 like you know, there's so many people, especially now, you probably read the articles of the Great Resignation. Yo, know, people are, are dying and are thirsty to figure out what in the world is God called them to do. Like, like what are they doing here? They, there's no purpose. Like, if you, if you're, listen, if you die at your job, you'll be replaced within a week. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like people want more than that. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you're not intentional with your life, and you are wasting the prime years of your life. You're going to regret it. And I'm telling you right now, this, this is a game changer. Like you, mm -hmm. you need to sign up for this program because uh, it, it, it didn't only reshape me, man. It changed my family. Like, like mm -hmm. think about it. Like the, 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 you have an opportunity to reshape your family trajectory by literally just for, giving in for three days or locking in, tapping in, getting the information and figuring out what God has already had in you. Like, you know what I'm saying? He, he's going to go inside your, your brain and help you unpack and get some stuff, man. So I just, again, I just wanted to say, man, if you, if you listen into this tonight uh, and you haven't signed up, man, you need to sign up, man. Cause sign it's, up. it's just that, that important. Yeah. Yo, yo, man, thank you for coming on. Right. Thank yeah. you for coming on. Thank you for sharing. I'm, I'm so excited about what God is doing in your life, through your life. I know you guys also had a, a new baby, so you got your hands full, but that clarity still serves that North star, man, kind of pulling you forward into the future. Yeah. And so, bro, I look forward to, uh, to all that God's going to do through you and to my people out there. Just, if you need some financial, if you want to leave a financial legacy, Check out my boy Joseph Namwange, right? Look him up. I tagged him on Facebook. 
Look him up, hit him up, get into his Financial Literacy Academy, uh, Legacy, Financial Legacy Academy, and make sure you sign up for his uh, for his course because it literally is a game changer. Yo, Joe. Awesome. Appreciate, appreciate you, bro. You, my guy. All right, man. All right, man. We out. Appreciate it.